I'm going to show you 10 hidden gestures on the iPhone that will help you select things faster, navigate around your iPhone, undo actions without shaking your device, and some tips for iPad and Apple Watch too. Number one, I don't know how long this has been a feature on iPhone, but it blew my mind when I discovered that you could select multiple items in a list with just swiping with two fingers. This works in lots of different apps all over the iPhone, but rather than hitting edit and selecting multiple email messages, in mail you can just swipe with two fingers and select multiple very quickly. This even works in your text message conversations. I can select multiple with two fingers, dragging quickly. It works in Apple Notes. I can select multiple notes quickly without pressing edit or select. It works in shortcuts, just dragging with two fingers also, even in reminders. Basically, anytime you need to select multiple items in a list, just drag with two fingers rather than pressing edit and selecting a bunch manually. Number two is how to select multiple photos in the Photos app. You can't drag with two fingers here. You typically have to press select and then tap manually on the ones you would like. But you can select across the columns and the rows quickly. If you tap select with your finger, then drag to the right across multiple photos and then down and it will select the entire rows for as long as you want to scroll. It's one of the fastest ways to select that many photos at once. So one more time, hit the select button, drag left to right across a row of photos, and then down, and you can select all these photos that you're dragging. Number three is tap back in messages. Since they first came out, I've always been tapping and holding on a message to bring up the reactions and select like or haha, but rather than tapping and holding, which gives you those other options, you can just double tap on a message and those reactions come up very quickly and you can still reply if you're in a conversation thread. So tap and hold if you want to do things like translate, speak, or copy, but if you just want to react to a message, just double tap. And tip number four, this is actually for Apple Watch, that same double tap for tap back reactions also works right here on the watch. You don't have to tap and hold on a message on the watch, just quickly double tap and it brings up the reactions. Let's stay on the Apple Watch for the next one, and this one's thanks to Basic Apple Guy on Twitter. You can actually adjust the color saturation for different colors on the Apple Watch face. Tap and hold to start editing a watch face. Tap edit and you'll get the normal color, bezel, complications, depending on your watch face. Then anytime you select a color above this little line, which are the seasonal colors line, once you've found the color you want, just tap on the color in this right hand sidebar and it will bring up a color saturation dial. Then you can adjust the color even more granularly using the dial. Now these next gestures are actually for the iPad. If you open the settings app on your iPad, go down to general and then to gestures, you can actually enable four and five finger swipes, which can go between apps and back to the home screen. And you can also allow your finger to swipe in from the corner to do things like a screenshot or to open quick note. Now that I've enabled these gestures, I can pinch in with all five fingers to go home. I can swipe left and right with four fingers to swap between my most recently used apps. I could just pinch in slightly with all five fingers and open the multitasking view. And I can take a screenshot just by swiping in from the bottom right corner. Now this next gesture actually works on iPad and iPhone, but let's show you on the iPhone because it's really useful there. Sometimes when you make a mistake on your iPhone, delete something you didn't mean to, you'll do that whole shake and then it brings up the undo typing menu. But that also feels a little ridiculous. Instead, next time you accidentally delete something or type something you didn't mean to, just take three fingers and swipe right to left and it will automatically undo your last action. Let's see if I accidentally cut this and now it's gone. I'll swipe with three fingers right to left and it undid my last action and I didn't even have to confirm. And if you actually meant to delete whatever it was or type what you meant, you can actually swipe with three fingers left to right and it will redo the last action. So you can undo and redo as many times as you need just by swiping with three fingers. This works both on iPhone and iPad. And since we're here in notes, another gesture, it only works here, not in pages. You can swipe to increase the indent on your bullet points. Just swipe left to right and you can increase the indentation on different bullet points and you can always go back just by swiping right to left. Now these last two gestures require us going into the accessibility settings, but I'll show you where it is. Number nine is called reachability. If we go into the settings and then go down to accessibility, now go to touch and you'll see an option called reachability. Toggle this on. It was originally intended for larger screen phones so you can reach the top of the screen, but with reachability enabled, even on the iPhone 14 or 14 Pro, whatever the smaller sizes are, you can do a very small swipe downward at the bottom of the phone and it will actually move the entire screen downwards so you can easily reach the stuff at the top. Again, that's just a small swipe downwards at the very bottom of the phone. If you do it in the middle of the phone, it'll bring up the search box, which is another great gesture, but for reachability, just do the very bottom of the phone. And once it's lowered like this, you can actually access the control center a little easier because you can swipe just halfway up the screen. Same thing for getting to the lock screen or notifications. I can now just swipe down from the middle of the screen rather than having to reach all the way to the top. This last gesture will actually make your iPhone speak any text that appears on screen by swiping with two fingers from the very top of your device. If I go back into the settings app, scroll down to accessibility, and then go to spoken content. 
there's actually an option here called Speak Screen. If I enable the Speak Screen option, anytime I drag my two fingers downward on the screen, it will speak whatever's there. Now if I swipe down with two fingers from the very top of the screen, Hidden iPhone gestures. Two finger select swipe to indent speak screen. It'll speak any of the text that's appearing on screen. Now do be careful because if you're in a text message conversation, it'll read that out loud too. Your iMessage, HomePod review, Stephen Robles. That's not how you say my name, but you get the point. And even with that speak selection enabled, you can still select multiple items in a list with a two finger drag. So those are 10 gestures across both your iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch to help you navigate and get things done even faster. Leave a comment below if I missed a gesture or if there's a gesture you think that I don't know yet, I'd love to hear about it. Hit that like button and then subscribe to the Bearded Teacher YouTube channel. I have content on smart home, audio devices and reviews, tips in the shorts for this channel, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.